Jimmy, this game was so emotional and intense. What was the key for you guys to holding your composure down the stretch? Uh, just do what we do every day in practice. Um, we, we're always uh, put in these situations by Tibbs. Um, we know what we have to do. Uh, but we, it started, we started getting stopped. Whenever we did that, it's easy to play some offense. In the overtime, Minnesota scored 13 points. You scored 11 of them. What kind of a gear did you reach? Uh, I guess a... Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to get to the locker room. Let me answer the question. Uh, I don't know. A, a gear where I don't pass, obviously, but <laughs> uh, if I'm making some shots, uh, I think it's the right play. Uh, Jamal hit a huge one, though. Um, I was about to shoot it. I won't lie. He yelled at me, so I passed it to him. In a game against a division opponent where there was so much emotion involved, how big was it that you guys are walking off this court overtime winners instead of on the other side? It's big. Uh, we just got to get Cat and Todd to stop hacking, and we'll be all right. <laughs> you hear the MVP chance tonight? Nah, I was at the free throw line locked in. They made me miss one. Thanks, Jimmy. Nice game, too. Thank you. Jimmy Butler, 39 points, and you know he heard it. The MVP chance here tonight at Target Center.